Welcome back to the Coming Up Podcast. Now, we have some unfortunate news. Uh, uh, Zoom, unfortunately, won't be able to make it to the future podcast episodes as of, like, right now. He might be able to make it, like, uh, in, like, I don't know, a month, two months, something like that. But right now, his work is giving him a lot of, um, a lot of work. And he, he just can't make it to the episodes right now. He only has time to make his own videos right now, which is completely fine. Um... So yeah, I just wanted to say that before the podcast starts. So it's going to be me and Arian for the future podcasts uh, from from right now. Please remember, this is coming up, the podcast for small YouTubers. So if you want to be in one of these uh, podcasts, go ahead and go in the description. Okay, you'll see a Discord link. Uh, that is my Discord server. You can join that and you can DM me through that. And you got to send me your channel. Uh, just, you know, say, hey, I want to be on the podcast. Send me the channel. You have to be... 50 subs or more you gotta have 50 subs or more and we'll get you on the podcast uh whenever we can please note that we have like four or five i think we we might even have six people that want to come on so don't expect to come on instantly uh you can you can go ahead and do yours all right hey it's me aaron b3 aka Dude 24 welcome back to coming up the podcast for small youtubers uh and everything you said before I. <laughs> All right. Um, I've had a I've had a busy week, bro. Legit, like with with YouTube and everything. I recorded like I tried to record like two videos a day this week and edit at least one and a half or something this week. And it's been it's been stressful as hell. And all I've done is take like a two week break. <laughs> <laughs> I I did see that. Why why'd you do that? It was just cause just uh so first couple of days i was just chilling to be honest sometimes i just take a little break here and there uh Mm -hmm. after that i had a copyright strike and you know i tried uh, resolving that before i could post anything honestly that got me in a bad mood so i just didn't want to post yeah yeah i feel that i mean i got what i i got a copyright strike that i swear wasn't even like like a fair bro like First of all, YouTube should have, like, a, a choice to take out that part. Uh, and second of all, the video wasn't posted. It finished processing, and then it gave me the copyright strike. And I just saw the email, and I'm like, well, I haven't hit publish yet, so surely if I hit cancel, it'll take it away. But nope, it's there till January 17th. And then one of my videos got age-restricted, which is a five-second video with text. It's literally a five-second video with text. You like tripping, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah for real they gotta they gotta be on something because it's literally called f in the chat and it was just one time that i was complaining uh about um how my video like it, it didn't save in the editing and i was complaining for like le- legit five seconds of text and, th- and that's it and it's it's age restricted like okay whatever freaking crazy um so yeah, yeah that's like a that. bunch of videos and works i just haven't edited at all i mean other than yeah, today so... i posted two that's, yeah you, today you 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 posted two videos right mm-hmm. both short though yeah both short that that way to heaven game bro i i had no idea what what to do with that legit i was editing and i'm like maybe if i slap a bunch of memes on here or something it'll get something out of it but nah I didn't know that, that in there either. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what they were thinking when they finished the game. Like, that game could be so good if they just, like, made it where, like, every room kind of changes every time you enter a different one. And, like, some actually scary things happen. They had a lot of potential, but it, it just fell short in almost all ways. Yeah, I, I don't... I didn't even understand the ending. It was just... Uh, some music on a boat. A, a, a boat, and then some music, and then... <laughs> We creating at the end. I got so confused. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? What? We we're creating life. Life. What? What is it? There is no meaning to life. We what do we blend a baby? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like what? I, I don't freaking understand. Itch itch is tripping recently. Like that that I want Among Us horror game. Hmm. Like I don't understand how that's like five or six on popular right now. I I really don't. Still haven't played it. Uh, I don't recommend you do. 
Like, I, I played it. I'm gonna see if I can do something out of it. If I can't, then I don't know. Like, it did scare me because it has one jump scare, but the rest, uh, I don't know. I mean, there seems to be some good games right now since it's close to October or Halloween. Yeah, I, I checked the other day. There's like two that um, I really want to play. One of them, it runs, but I have a feeling it's going to like the recording is going to uh, drop frames because I was mm. playing it for like a minute, um, just like moving around and moving my mouse. And I couldn't tell if it was dragging the mouse or not. Like, I just genuinely couldn't tell. And then there was one that just doesn't run. Wish they added uh, Puppet Combo's new game onto. It should probably get a lot of traction. Yeah, well, they add them to itch, right? They just, it's paid, right? It do doesn't Puppet Combo have an itch page? It do. Let me check if they added the new one. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, by the way, in my recording, if you guys just heard uh, some footsteps, that was my mom walking down the hallway. It happens. It happens. Um. No, they don't have it. Yes, people people walk up. Wait, they don't have, they don't have the game up, but they don't, but they have an itch page, right? Yeah. I I. Um, talking about video games, we'll just switch to one of our topics that we have written down. Uh, Cyberpunk. Literally, what it what is going on with Cyberpunk? Like, it, it looks lit from mm. the stuff like we've seen. <clears throat> oh my god, just choke. Uh, stuff we've seen, but it's been delayed again, and people are mad, bro. They're getting death threats. People are literally sending them death threats. Like, there was this one tweet, this one guy, he said, uh, at Cyberpunk Devs or whatever their Twitter account is, he said, um, I'm taking my day off of work tomorrow to play your game. Is it 100% confirmed that it's coming out tomorrow? And they responded saying, yes, it's confirmed. And then they delayed it. Like, that is messed up. Because there's, like, no way. Like, I don't know. I just, I just can't believe that they just came in that morning, opened the doors and said, oh, by the way, we got to delay it another two months or whatever. Like, there's no way. It's like the third delay they've had this year alone. Yeah, for real. I don't I don't understand, man. There's there's no way. There's just no way. There's no way. Thing is, like they should have expected something like this to happen since they're going to have it on five different console or four different consoles and the PC at the same time. They should have had True. it like ready prior to all this. Hey, bro, at this point, it's going to come out at, uh, in 2077, bro. Quote me on that. It's going to end up coming out on 2077. And the sad part is it actually looks really good. The gameplay mechanics, mm -hmm. ev everything other than combat, it just looks amazing. For real. Like, you, you sent me that one clip. You sent me that one clip. It, it looked crazy good. Mm -hmm. Like that, that was lit. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it right now. Like... It, it's lit it's lit it's it's literally it, it's good it's it should like i don't know like are they polishing it for other like is it not complete or what like i i think the thing that i am like scared about is that they're just gonna re release it incomplete or incomplete yeah. kind of like what's that one game's name no man's sky or whatever oh uh, yeah that game they re didn't they re end up releasing it incomplete and like people were mad about it? I don't know. I'm well, not really sure on that. a bunch of stuff like multiplayer and then they didn't release that until almost a year later. Yeah, like that. that's the thing. And Cyberpunk is promising a whole bunch of stuff too. And people were just saying, yeah, you're promising this, but I guarantee that it's not going to come out as soon as you launch. It's been on like the top 20 for Steam sales since it was announced too. Really? Mm-hmm. So it's really highly anticipated. Well, yeah. I mean, explains why people are literally... I mean, it, it doesn't explain, but, like, people are over here sending death threats. I, I don't know. People can argue that it's just a game, and then people can argue, like... I, I don't know. I mean, obviously, death threats aren't the answer. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, like, obviously, I'm not con I'm not saying you should go send a death threat to the the freaking Cyberpunk games, but it's still a little bit weird how you know like how it's just not gonna come out like when when they say like five times in a row or whatever they, they didn't sign an exclusivity deal right it's coming out xbox and playstation right yeah it's coming out on everything 
Current and next gen. Oh, okay. Well, wait. Okay, I, I mean, I guess I understand the delay, but... They, they knew that from the beginning. I don't know. Did you see that Two Man and Linus uh, Tech Tips had a collaboration? Wait, what? Yeah, Two Man and Linus. Two Man and Linus? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be a hundred percent with you, bro. I don't know who that is or who those two people are, bro. <laughs> you don't know two men? Two. Hold on, hold on. I might, I might, I might just be a little faded right now or something, bro. Hold on. You said too mad or yeah. too man? Too mad. I. Too <laughs> mad. I'm literally searching this up. Uh, I can't even find it on Twitter, bro. So he's, uh, even... if you look on YouTube, he's like one of the most famous people for uh, doing the zoom trolls. Oh, that stuff. Yeah, I don't, I haven't watched that stuff. I, I only watched the Nelk boys do that stuff and that's it. No, nah, I mean, he only made like two videos on zoom trolls, but he got on BBC News for it. Really? Well, yeah, they didn't they like say, um, didn't they say, what's it called? Like they said that that's a crime and you could like actually get charges for that mm -hmm. dang all right i i think i've seen his face oh wait is he the um the skype dude yeah i i yeah i know who that is i know who that is Alinus a, is oh and alinus is just a tech guy oh okay but he's all one right, of the biggest right. with over 12 million subs so this kind of collab wasn't really <laughs> anticipate or anything it was just wild yeah, yeah. I get that, I get that. And in Two Mad's video, he put in all the, like, most awkward bits. <laughs> and Linus, he just made it plain and simple. <laughs> and Two Mad had a, a bunch of BTS stickers all over his PC build. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. That's funny, that's funny. Um, I just saw a notification for Among Us. I mean, might as well mention that Among Us is still popping. You literally make a, a video on Among Us, and it's it's hard for it not to get at least a hundred views. Hmm. At least, right? Well, how many views did your Among Us videos get? Let me see. Uh, first one I believe got two hundred and thirty ish. Like yeah, that. that's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, two twenty seven, and the second one got one hundred and thirty three. That's what I'm saying. It's crazy. Like, it, it the fact that it's still getting streamed and uh, people are still uploading it, I mean, it, it kind of blows my mind because, like, take a look at Fall Guys where it literally fell. It, it fell. It mm. fell off after the first, what, like, three weeks? And it's still helping a bunch of small creators turn into big ones, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big facts. And like, um, Corpse, Corpse Husband? I helped him a bunch. Oh yeah, it, like Corpse literally has like a whole insane fan base now, or not fan base, but, like army, if you will. You know what I mean? In yeah, these past few weeks, he gained like two million subs just off of Among oh Us. My gosh! His first video has fifteen million views on it. Gosh! Like I follow him, and every once in a while, you know, I get a tweet from him on uh on my t uh on my timeline. And it always gets at least 30,000 likes, bro. Yeah. Which is... It's insane to me. Okay, I just went to its Twitter feed. Literally 132,000 likes. 180,000 likes. 116,000. Like, dang. It's the sense, dude. That's crazy. People simping over his voice. Yeah, I know. <laughs> bro, his voice... Like, the first time I heard it, it was on, like, a Jacksepticeye stream. And I got so confused. Like, who is this? Like, I was trying to go into the freaking descriptions, but it was on Twitch, so I couldn't find him. And mm. then, like, there was people asking in chat, and then I found out who it was. And I'm like, this dude isn't even, like, that pop, like, as popular as, as I thought. And then, like, two weeks later, my man's popping off. Like, it's crazy. He has some throat condition, I think, called a GERD, which is why his voice is so deep. Oh, really? Yeah, a few years ago, I... Uh... If you watch one of his videos, one of his most popular videos from a few years ago, you could hear like his voice was a lot, lot higher, like not too much higher, but like compared to how it is now. Like, when people joke about him saying uh, saying that he went through puberty twice and stuff, it actually sounds like it. 
Oh, I guess I'm, that, Some. I mean, I'm not going to say that's kind of cool because I don't know what kind of effect that has, but like at the same time, it is kind of cool because his voice sounds like it's, it's like a heavenly voice, bruh. Mm. <laughs> I'm not even lying, bruh. Thing is so deep. Um, and like there's, there's already like accounts for him and everything like a accounts, um, like about him or whatever you know what i mean like stan accounts there's so many of those i swear speaking um, of which uh pewdiepie got shadow man uh, like a few days ago i i got so confused on that because you sent me a message on that and you said pewdiepie shadow shadow band i go check he's not shadow band but then i watched like videos on it and he was shadow band for like a couple of hours or whatever i guess that's pretty confusing because like how do you just shadow ban a person for a few hours mistakenly yeah well I, I think it was just some error on youtube and somehow somehow it happened to happen with pewdiepie and i mm. think the only reason it got attention is because it was pewdiepie like if it would have been like um just like w me or you obviously it's not going to get attention but it could happen like i feel like it happens not often but like sort of often like every one in i don't know six seven months or something maybe it'll happen for a couple hours and then youtube just fixes itself or something like i don't i don't think they just go and shadow ban pewdiepie you know it's pewdiepie yeah plus they've signed a streaming contract with them not too long ago yeah he does yeah yeah the, it, it has to be some sort of error there's no way they're just gonna you know, Shadow Band PewDiePie. There's absolutely no way. Mr. Beast went uh on a podcast the other day and I was watching it. Um and like obviously the title had something to do with his biggest secrets or anything, but uh Mr. Beast really does um uh surprise me. I don't know why I brought this up, mm. but now we're talking about it. Uh Mr. Beast really does surprise me about all his like What's it called? Like the way he does his stuff with like analytics and stuff. Cause I, what? Okay, okay, you just sent me a get. Uh, okay, nice one. Uh, the way he does his uh analytics and or not the way he does them, but the way he I don't know how to explain it. The way he looks at things and just says, okay, I know what to do with this, surprises me. Okay, okay, let's switch topics. I don't know why I brought this up. I mean, it was pretty cool because not too long ago, his video of uh, that he recorded five years ago came out. Bro, I saw that and I got so confused. Like, did he schedule that? Yeah, yeah he scheduled one for a few more years from now, too. I think for 10 years. Really? Yeah, well, he had one for six months, one year, two years, five years, and then one final one. Dang. That's... I didn't even think YouTube like did the whole scheduling thing five years ago i mean i don't know why it surprises me but i feel like youtube evolved super super slowly i don't know i just feel like it does evolve super slowly because i swear anytime anybody has a problem it'll take like three months to get fixed i mean i i, I sent them an email on the whole uh age restricted video thing which again complete bs um and i don't think i've gotten an email back i i literally haven't any uh, haven't gotten an email back i don't even understand how youtube could even allow that like just say yes l let's go with that because it literally says this video has been reviewed by our team or by our youtube team or whatever and like how can they even green light that <laughs> A like, what clip yeah it, it's five seconds with text absolutely no bad words and no nudity i mean it, it's age restricted even if it had bad words it wouldn't be age restricted it would be so, something else i don't know but it wouldn't it wouldn't be age restricted it's not like they have it has nudity or anything i mean speaking of youtube trump put out a bunch of <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead, go bunch, ahead. Bunch of random videos with Gen Z type thumbnails. <laughs> 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 oh 
One of them saying, what does Joe Biden's plan mean for you with a bunch of emojis around it? <laughs> Another one saying, only watch if you love America. I don't and know why this makes me laugh so much, bruh. And the best this one is so random. Best one being, you won't believe what Joe Biden did. <laughs> what did he do, bruh? What did he do? <laughs> and then you watch the video, and it's probably something like, vote, blah, 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 uh, approve this message, whatever. All of them are 30 um, seconds long, too. Oh, yeah, I didn't even see that. And then he put out a Thing whole video. <laughs> he put out a whole video called "How to Spot a Zombie." <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is an unskippable ad. Here's how you can spot a zombie. <laughs> I can't, bro. This has me dying, bro. This legit has me dying. Cause I saw one yesterday, or not yesterday. It was like two days ago, and I just straight up thought it was a parody. I thought it was a parody, and now you sent me these, and I'm like, no way, bro. There's, that, that's crazy. That is, it, <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, it, it's good strategy, I guess, but it's so random. <laughs> Hold on, let me go. See, and then, okay, so I just went, like, to my home thing, and you know how it always gives you an ad, like, at the top? Yeah. Right now, literally, the only ads you get up there are political ads. And right now, I have a uh, Trump ad, but it's completely normal. What, what does it say? It, it's just completely normal. It doesn't really... It doesn't have a thumbnail. It's mm. just, like, a blank thumbnail. But then you have these out of absolutely nowhere. Uh, What was I gonna... Oh, yeah. What's that dude's name? Dream. You know... You know... Obviously, you know who Dream is, right? Yeah. He's coming up on 12 million subs, okay? I... I don't understand. I don't understand how that could even happen. How long has it been since he even reached a million? Like two, three months or something? It feels like. Yeah, check it out. My man's like popping off. And like the videos are entertaining, so I see why. But like, he's about to hit 12 million. And look, as soon as 12 million uh, hits, uh, there's going to be a hashtag on Twitter called 12 million dreams, and it's going to start trending. Yep. 100%. Because that happened with 10 million, that happened with 11 million. I don't know if it happened with 9, because I wasn't paying attention at that point. He hit 9, and like a week later, he's at 10 or something. Yeah, so 6 months ago, he was at 2 mil. How, bro? Like, <laughs> that's mind-blowing. That is crazy. That's crazy to me. Because, like... Like, a... Uh, 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 a while ago, he was making, like, uh, PewDiePie Minecraft videos. Like, Minecraft videos about PewDiePie, right? Hold on. Dream PewDiePie. Uh, like, one year ago. I'm sorry, PewDiePie. Uh, uh, one year ago. Unsolved Mystery of Sven. One year ago, I found PewDiePie's address. Like, that was his videos. That was his third video. How to get PewDiePie's Minecraft World seed. Really? Yeah. Out of his That's first five saying. videos, or out of his first six videos, four of them are about PewDiePie. Gosh. Although, I did hear that he deleted videos. Did he? I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. Because I'm pretty sure when he started, like, when he started getting a whole bunch of subs, he was already at, like, a thousand subs. Yeah, one of the videos I searched up uh, says this is how he went from 1k to 2 mil in 9 months. Yeah, like... He did so... create it in 2014, too. Oh, he did? Hmm. Oh, yeah, true. But, I mean, I don't even care if he deleted video. I don't, I don't... I mean, obviously he deleted them so that, you know, the cringe can go away from his channel or whatever. Um, or whatever you want to say but uh that that is it's crazy to me he he's about to hit a billion views on his whole channel and he has uh he has a hundred videos i have more videos than dream isn't that crazy 
Same here. <laughs> like, that is mind-blowing. That is mind-blowing. Blake, Blake raised, uh, how much money? 200 300 dollars for charity? That was pretty yeah. cool. 320 I think. That was, that was awesome. Mm. Uh, Ollie raised, like, 500 on his. Blake raised 300 It's all good, bro. This is all good. When I start streaming, I'm gonna start doing charity streams, too. Okay, wait. Didn't you say you could stream? You just don't know how or whatever? I'm waiting for, like, maybe a webcam to come in, and then maybe I'll start trying. Oh, okay, yeah. I think, uh, obviously I can't with this computer right now, but when I get a computer, uh, mm. uh, I'm then gonna get a mic, and then I'm gonna get a webcam, and then streams are gonna start setting up, because I think I'd have, like, a good, a, go a good stream, just hanging out with chat for the first part and whatever. You use a GoPro, I think right? I, I, yeah, I use a GoPro for for my webcam. Like that's how bad. That's how bad we're. That that that's how bad my setup is right now. It's I mean, a GoPro and it's a laptop. What? What? The, the video quality is not that bad though. Yeah, I think um this GoPro goes to 180p. I, I recommend getting a cam link instead then. That way you can still use the GoPro whenever you use uh, your webcam and just have an external mic. X. Well, wait, what'd you, what's it called? Cam link. Cam link. The thing is, I'd have to plug that into my computer, right? Yeah. See, that's the thing. My computer can't run OBS. Hmm. So I couldn't, like, run, uh, run it like that anyways. I mean, like, in the future when you get a... Uh... PC and all that stuff, you know? Yeah, 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 100%, 100%. I definitely don't want to be working on this GoPro. I could be working on anything else but this <laughs> GoPro. Because, I mean, it, it's not a pain or anything. It's just, it's a GoPro. <laughs> There's nothing much I can say. It's a GoPro. That's really it. Tomorrow, um... What was I gonna say? Oh, tomorrow I don't have school because there's a freaking tornado coming, and I just want to share this story real quick. Last year the exact same thing happened, except people actually went to school, but I was at home because uh, I was sick, and I was leaning into my computer right at like the tip of my uh, chair, and uh, our house starts shaking because of the tornado or tropical storm or whatever the frick it was. Our house started shaking for a second. The chair. F um, slid out of like like it slid behind me and i hit my head on my desk so tomorrow i'm recording while on an exercise ball the only thing people have to talk about is i don't i don't even know be, people's birthdays and politics i mean obviously politics is a big thing right now because the election is in what eight days six days i don't okay. even know mm -hmm. That's gonna be crazy. I I don't I don't really care, but the one thing I will say is the freaking what's it called? Debates are circus acts, bro. They are a meme of their own, bro. Uh what came out like two days ago? Wasn't it I think it was Fall Guys season two came out? For real? Yeah. Lame. <laughs> For real, legit, like that was the one thing I saw on Twitter that I was like, okay, whatever. Like uh, all this week, and then the rest is just people. Not, I said people getting canceled at the beginning of this. I think what I meant by that is just people talking about other people's drama or whatever. Mm. So, something to do with Alex Jones happened on the Joe Rogan podcast. You know who Alex Jones is, right? Obviously. Yeah, frog's gay guy. Oh, man. Yep, frog's gay guy. <laughs> it's literally the one thing I know him by. What else did he... Did, did he even say anything else? He, he's just a frog's gay guy? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm no. pretty sure he's a conservative, like, heavily. I'm not sure, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, he is, he is, he is. I don't, I don't really know much about him, though. <laughs> he, he's pretty mad. Pretty yeah, <laughs> I mean, I know. I think the controversy. I mean, obviously, the controversy. The controversy is it has to be about something he said. Um, but the thing is, people were saying like, "Oh, uh, 
uh, he should be silenced on social media and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. But the thing is, I don't think he should because that's the kind of people that we can look at and laugh at. Or not laugh at, but laugh about, you know? Yeah. Like, I swear, people people do too much over here with their this person should be kicked off social media this person shouldn't express their opinion like bro chill out and just sit back and laugh at him bro there's a game that came out or is coming out i don't know but it's called g-string and it's like a cyberpunk shooter uh based in like um not a half-life setting but it has sort of like a half-life um narrative feel to it if you will like the city narrates itself if, right. if you it, so it came out like 12 Half-Life. days ago came out what 12 days ago uh, okay so what's interesting about this is that it was made by one person and it took 12 years 12 years mm-hmm Jeez. yep which in my opinion is crazy obviously uh and I just remember this because I've been seeing memes uh, about how th- there's this game and then there's Cyberpunk uh, 2077. How that was probably made by one person and it's taken them more time. I, I-, I tried to do 3D uh, modeling or not modeling, but like animating, right? Yeah. I got uh, what's that one program called? Blender. I got that. Mm-hmm. And oh my God, it's so much harder than I thought. I... I successfully made a donut, okay? <laughs> and it actually looked like a, a donut. Now, was it colored? No, because I couldn't figure out how to do that. Uh, but I successfully made a donut. I didn't put any sprinkles on it or anything because I didn't know how to do that. And it's so hard. Well, first of all, my computer can barely run the program, but it, it's mm-hmm. so hard to do anything because you got to sit there and move this uh this amount of frames and move the lighting here and move the camera it's crazy bro i don't understand how people make video games like this especially one person making this in 12 years obviously 12 years is a long time but like it would probably take more than 12 years just to learn how to do that you know yeah i mean we got uh digital animation as one of the class electives and i'm gonna use a site called tinkercad for everything it's pretty simple to use but to think about how uh, you'd have to build little pieces bit by bit in games trying to make it by yourself would be near impossible depending on how big the game would be for real especially this g-string game that seems like it's pretty big at least from what i've seen about it um Yo, we are literally just switching from one topic to another topic to another topic to another topic. I kind of like it because uh, there, there literally isn't anything to talk about because everything is so freaking boring. I promise. I promise next week we're going to have a guest. I promise. I 100% promise. And, and those episodes are going to be better because. Yeah, go ahead. Because the guest is going to, you know, obviously uh, be, be there. The guest is obviously going to be there and we can talk about them. But yeah, next week, 100% guest guaranteed. Okay. Mm-hmm. I got two people that are pretty much able to do the podcast anytime or any day. I mean, mm-hmm. um, I just saw a, a thing on on my little uh, thread or whatever. Uh, apparently, Mr. Beast wants to make a League of Legends team. I've um, never checked anything out on League of Legends before. You've never uh, played League of Legends? Nah, never really interested me. I played once, and I was like, nope, not my kind of game. Mm. I, I, I literally, I think I played like two or three rounds, and then uh, I didn't play that, and then I just went to a game called dota 2 which is basically the same thing uh and i played that and then i remember uh i got off of a round because my wi-fi like my internet crashed and then it just suspended me from the game 
like for a certain amount of time or whatever. So I just rage quit and uh, deleted the game. And I was like, nope, not gonna happen. The only game that I've ever played that's even remotely similar would have to be Wizard 101. And that was like when I was in third, fourth grade. I have think I've heard of that. I don't, I don't think I've ever played that, but the name sounds familiar. It was a pretty cool experience back then, but I mean, I don't know if it's still running well or any of that. There also used to be another game called Pirate 101, I think, created by the same creators. Oh, uh, okay. The, the only game I played at that age was freaking Cool Math in school and Club Penguin. So Lil Baby got robbed of uh, Artist of the Year? Mm -hmm. Lil amazing. Baby got robbed and the baby lost 12. <laughs> er, How do you get didn't... nominated for 12 things and win zero? <laughs> Not only is that just surprising that he got nominated for 12 things and didn't win any, it's also surprising because he's the baby. Like, it, it's it's the big how, how how do you not win? Like that so that's insane. And everything. Pretty sure Rockstar was Say that again. One say that again. Uh, uh, he's been on a bunch of features and stuff too. He really blew up these past two years. Yeah, for real. Legit, um, I got a, a, a song or a video on my recommended page or whatever. That was one of his, uh, one of his songs with Dua Lipa. Like, Dua Lipa. how do you not, like, like, obviously he's, he's blown up and he's big. How do you not win at least one of those 12 awards? That's crazy. Like, I, I think they got robbed. There's no way they did it. Mm. Both of and, them. Yeah, I, I, I mean, Lil Baby getting robbed of Artist of the Year by Megan Thee Stallion. That one, I guess I can see. Like, I don't... I, I listen, I've i listened to both of them. Mm -hmm. And I don't really prefer one over the other. Uh, But I, I think I'd see fans going to Megan more than Lil Baby. Because, you know, like, Cardi B and... Megan the Stallion, they got all the stands, bro. They got mm. all the stands. Yeah. Literally sure. everybody on that. So I, I guess I can see that, but the baby not winning not one award, that is um that that's mind blowing to me. Like I said, next week there is a uh guest. There will one hundred percent be a guest. Now do I know who it is? No, you guys will have to find out. Uh when there is a guest, please Please go in the description. They will always be the first link in the description. And I'm going to need you guys to go up in there. Subscribe. Comment. Like on their like recent video and everything. Tell them you came from the podcast. And support. Support when there's a guest on, on, on the channel. Because that's what we like to see. Uh, that's been it for the podcast today. Um... It's been like a 40 minute episode. There really hasn't been much on Twitter or anything to really talk about. Um, and trust me, we searched. We 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 searched for a little bit. We we knew we were going to talk about the Pewdie, uh, PewDiePie shadow ban, and we mm -hmm. knew we were going to talk about Cyberpunk. Uh, but everything else has just been plain. Okay, everything's yeah, been going on lately. Yeah. So we pretty much need guests so that we can talk to guests, and guests can bring in conversations too. Uh, that's pretty much been it. Remember coming up the podcast for small youtubers so if you guys want to be on the podcast discord link is in the description go over there and dm me remember you got to be 50 subs or more 50 subs or more remember that because i got a dm from somebody and they were like yo i want to be on the podcast i was like how many subs you got and they were like uh i only got 20 but can you uh can you get me on the podcast anyways and i was like I can when you get 50 subs. Like, bro, don't be hitting me up when you got five subs or something. Or you got 20 subs. Hit us up when you get 50 subs. We'll get you on podcast. All right, that's been it. Bye.